So it cost me 88 cents per minute to shoot in this particular format of Blackmagic RAW. So how did I come up with this calculation? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you in three simple steps how you can figure out how much it's costing you per minute to shoot in your particular video format. Now, if you're shooting in any raw format, it takes up a lot of storage space. It requires a lot of data, so this can end up costing a lot of money. So understanding the specifics about that data is gonna help you better plan out your productions. So let's say, for example, you're about to shoot a documentary, you're in pre-production, and you, you know you're gonna end up shooting a lot of footage on this particular project. So knowing how much your footage is gonna cost you to shoot per minute is gonna help you calculate a budget. It's gonna help you figure out what specific format you wanna shoot in, because even though I'm gonna be shooting this in Blackmagic RAW, I wanna shoot in the highest quality possible, and there are different flavors of Blackmagic RAW. You can pick different compression ratios, each which is gonna take up drastically different amounts of space. For example, if you're shooting in a 12 to 1 compression ratio, your footage is gonna take up a lot less space than if you're shooting in a 3 to 1 compression ratio. Now, while I'll be using Blackmagic RAW for this particular example, you can really plug in your own information into this calculation and figure out how much your specific video format is costing you per minute. Now, since I'm putting together an equation, we first need to figure out the variables of that equation. First is your specific video format. Again, for my example, I'm using Blackmagic RAW. More specifically, I'm gonna go the highest quality I possibly can. So I'm gonna use a three to one compression ratio. I'm gonna shoot at 24 frames per second at 6K resolution. Next variable is the price of your external hard drive or storage media. I'm using a G Technology G RAID 20 terabyte drive that costs 1100 US dollars. And the last variable here is the storage space of that external drive, which again is 20 terabytes. For step two, I need to calculate the size per minute. So how many gigabytes is just one minute of this Blackmagic RAW format gonna take? And therefore, how many minutes can I fit on a 20 terabyte drive? Now I'm gonna figure this out using the Cameras and Formats app. This is a really amazing tool if you're a DP or a video producer. It has specifics on all different camera formats and tells you how much space they take up. Now unfortunately, this popular app is currently only available on iOS. So if you don't happen to have an Apple device, there is another website that has a file size calculator. If you go to filmtechapp.com calculator, now to perform the calculation, I'll plug my camera model and my format details into the calculator of the Cameras and Formats app. Now I'll enter one minute into the time section, which will then show me the estimated storage space, which is 16 gigabytes. Now I could have just immediately plugged in the 20 terabytes to figure out the total number of minutes, but it's really good for me to have the per minute size so I can make future calculations quickly. So let's say I'm gonna be using a 10 terabyte drive later. I can quickly calculate that based on the gigabytes per minute. So with the storage space per minute calculated, I can now figure out the total number of minutes of this Blackmagic RAW format that are gonna fit on this particular 20 terabyte drive. For this, I'll divide my storage space by the 16 gigabytes of estimated space. But first I need to convert my 20 terabytes into gigabytes, which is quite simple because one terabyte is 1,000 gigabytes, which gives me 20,000 gigabytes. Now I'll divide the 20,000 gigabytes by the 16 gigabytes, which gives me 1,250 minutes, which is roughly 21 hours of shooting time. Step three, calculate price per minute. So now it's quite simple. I'll take the total price of the drive, which is $1,100, and I'll divide that by the total number of minutes that will fit on the drive, which is 1,250. And this gives me 0.88 or 88 cents per minute. Now let's get a little crazy and say that I wanna shoot this entire documentary at 120 frames per second. And the cameras and formats app, I'm gonna plug in that 120 frames per second and I come up with 82 gigabytes per minute. Whoa. Let's plug this into our equation and see what we get. 20,000 gigabytes divided by 82 gigabytes is 244 minutes. That's 244 minutes that will fit on my 20 terabyte drive. Yikes. Now I take my $1,100 total price of my drive and divide it by 244 minutes. That's $4.50 per minute. Again, here's the final calculation. I first took the total storage space and divided it by the storage space per minute of footage, which gave me the total minutes that will fit on that drive. Then I took the total price of the drive and divided it by the total minutes that will fit on the drive, which gives me my cost per minute for that particular format. Again, I'm very curious to see what you're working with and how much your video format is costing you per minute. So please try to do this calculation and let me know in the comments section how much it's costing you per minute for your particular video format. And as always, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. And don't forget to go check out that cameras and formats app. It's very, very cool.